Hello friends and welcome back to the channel where today we will be looking at the Monty Hall problem. I'm sure all of you have heard of this problem but I'll just go over it just to explain it again. So the problem goes like this. You are in a talk show and there are three doors. Behind each door there is a prize. Two of the doors have a goat. Let's call this goat on the screen Maya. And behind one of the doors there is a car. So... You choose a door, let's say you choose door number one, and the show host will open door number three. And you'll have the option to stick to your first choice or to change to door number two. What should you do? Should you change or should you stick to your first choice? What do you think? Is there a difference? Is there no difference? You have a little bit of time to think about it before I go ahead and reveal the answer. So it turns out to be that it is actually more advantageous to switch and if you switch you'll have a 2 out of 3 chance of winning the car instead of if you stayed you'd have a 1 out of 3 chance of winning the car. So to explain this we'll use a little bit of Python to do the simulation but I'll also explain it using logic. So let's go to the next section. So for this video, we'll be doing things a little differently. I already wrote the code, so we'll go through the code at the end of it and we'll do the explanation in the beginning and not in the end. So first, let's explain why the probability is actually two thirds and then we'll prove it with the simulation that it is two thirds. So I will write all the combinations, car goats that could be for three doors. So the first combination would be C, G, G. Uh, the second one would be G, C, G. And then the last one would be G, G, C. So just by looking at this, let's say that we get one of those combinations and you always choose the first door, right? And you choose to not switch anytime. So let's see what happens in the first one. So in the first one, if you chose door number one, let's say you choose door number one, then the host will open one of the doors that has a goat. So this door is already taken, but you stick to your own choice. So you would end up winning the car because the car is actually in door number one. So this case would end up in a win. Uh, let's look at the other case. Uh, in this case, you still choose door number one. The host will open a door that has a goat already. But in this case, again, just like we said, you don't end up switching. So you would end up losing and you would have won in case you switched because there is only one option here that has a car. So you would end up losing. And same thing here. You choose to switch, but the host opens a door that has a car, which means that you would end up losing and you would have won if you switch. So I hope this explanation is good enough for you. There are quite a few YouTube channels that have already explained this problem. So you can go there if this explanation is not good enough, but let's get into the code. Just like last time, I rewrote the assumptions here. There are three doors. You choose a door at random because you don't know which door has the car. After you make the choice, the host will open one of the two doors left. The door that the host opens always contains a goat. And should you change your choice or not, which is the higher probability that you'll win. So just like last time, we're going to do this 100,000 times so we can get a good approximation of what the probability should be. Uh, and here we have the number of successful events with no changes. A successful event is when you win the car and number of successful events with the change. So when you choose to change the door. So here is the for loop just repeating the event multiple times. Uh, we start with a dictionary of doors, it's empty, and prizes, uh, goat, car, goat. And here we go for door 1 through 3, and we choose a prize from this list that we created right here, from the list of prizes, and we remove that prize after we have chosen it. So here we're assigning... For door I, we're assigning a certain price. So from the list of prices, we're just choosing randomly and assigning it to door number one, then door number two, then door number three, and so on. 
Then the player chooses a random number from one in three, and that's the choice that they're gonna make. Then the host will remove a door, and this is gonna be in the range one to three, but it cannot be the door that the player chose because that doesn't make sense. And it has to have a goat behind it. That was part of the rules. And then the door that is left is going to be in the range 1 to 3 as before. But it cannot be the player's choice or the door that the host removed. So that's all. It's pretty simple. This is how we assign the three doors. The first one is at random. The second one, the only two rules are that it cannot be the player's choice and it has to have a goat and then the door that is left is whatever the other two are not so you know if this was one this was two this would have to be three and then we count the successful events so if the door that has that the player chose has a car then we count this as a success with no change but if the car is in the door that is left then we count that as a success with change. So let's see what the probability is for both of those. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So let's go into our YouTube folder and I will be uploading all of those in a GitHub repo, which I will leave in the description. So just running the Monty Hall problem. Hmm. Okay if you divide two integers but then it's gonna turn out that the number is less than one it won't show the results or it will show them as zero as you can see here but I ran the code again using Python 3 um, didn't change anything and it turns out that the percentage is the win percentage with change is 66 percent and the win percentage without change is only 33 percent and again like those are approximations but from the explanation and from this simulation i hope that you're convinced that it is always more advantageous to switch and if you switch you'd be winning two-thirds of the times and in case you didn't switch you'd only win one-third of the time so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe and i hope you have a great day bye